What's going on, NBA fans? And welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. One of the Cognac boys is here. I'm Bobby. Thanks for joining me today. On today's episode, we got to talk about Kevin Durant recent update on his MCL sprain that he sustained in his latest game against the Miami Heat. I'm going to talk about it plus more right after this. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix. NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. All right, y'all. So if y'all like what y'all listening to, ensure that y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. But, hey, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, Kevin Durant has now been ruled out for two weeks to where he will be reevaluated on MCL sprain. He sustained this, in this injury while playing against the Miami Heat when Jimmy Butler fell into his knee. And, man, uh, to keep it a buck, the two weeks is better than the six weeks that he uh, had to uh, endure with last year when he had a similar injury. Um, right now, Kevin Durant, he's performing at an MVP level. And the Brooklyn Nets have been looking very, very good since uh, – they let go of Steve Nash. In the team's recent, in the last 20 games, they're now 18 and 2. And Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for that team to get them to the top of the Eastern Conference and vying for that number one seed. I believe they are currently ranked at number two, right behind the Boston Celtics and the uh, Milwaukee Bucks, right below them. During that stretch, in the last 20 games of an 18 and 2 record, they put together an 11-game win streak, and, man, they was killing. Kevin Durant overall this season has given you 30 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists on 56% shooting. Man, that guy's efficient. He's been doing his thing. Uh, but what does this mean moving forward? Moving forward, I believe it doesn't hurt Kevin Durant that much. Obviously, that's me saying something. I haven't sustained an MCL injury, but... I, pre I previously mentioned that last year, my guy had a knee injury last year that kept him out of, the, uh, out of basketball for six weeks. And now he's going to be reevaluated in two weeks. So then that, you know, obviously the difference is there will be in the amount of time that he's gone from the team. And then in that amount of time, we'll say, wait, hey, he might be gone just maybe five or six games. And even and even then. I believe that with the coaching that uh, Jock Vaughn has put on display for the Brooklyn Nets, these guys will be able to eventually still be able to push out some games. They have they have been defending. They got Kyrie Irving. They got Ben Simmons, Royce O'Neal. They still got shooters and Seth Curry and Joe Harris, and they still got to improve Nick Claxton. So they shouldn't fall off too much. You know what I mean? And we got to keep it a buck. This guy has been performing at an MVP level. I believe Kevin Durant has a lot to prove still moving forward. You know what I mean? And, uh, hey, it's just been good to good to see Kevin Durant try to put on a show. You know what I'm saying? Because he does. He definitely has some things that he has to get over, especially from last year. But we all know Kevin Durant was going to come in and be the professional that he is and going to be able to contribute to the team in such a manner. It's unfortunate that he, somebody had to fall into him. And um, push, put him out for two weeks. But, hey, it could have been much worse. We've seen people get fallen into in, in various sports and tear, and tear things. You know what I'm saying? So we knock on wood for Kevin Durant on that. And, hey, it's just a spring. You know what I'm saying? This guy, he going to bounce back and he going to perform like he never left. So that's pretty much what, you, what you're really looking forward to. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant that comes back out and still puts on an MVP type season. And it's crazy because a lot of people ain't giving him the recognition that he rightfully deserves. You know what I'm saying? They're giving it to Giannis and Jokic, and I believe Kevin Durant has to be in that mix. You know what I mean? They want to include John Moran and things like that. But Kevin Durant has been consistent. You know what I'm saying? And you can't, it's, you can't bat or not at 18 or 2 in the last 20 games and then an 11-game winning streak after a horrible start to the season where these guys weren't even in the play yet. I know it was early in the season. You're like, damn. You know, people are still trying to fill out what they're going to do or whatnot. But at the end of the day, this guy came all the way from the from the bottom to the top. So that's pretty much you, you gotta you gotta be happy for that. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's unfortunate that this guy had the you know is gonna sit out for two weeks. But at the end of the day, 
he will be back, and the Brooklyn Nets can continue on to push for that playoff and then, you know, compete for a championship because I believe they can. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you got players like Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving, you have you give yourself a chance. You can't blink an eye at Ben Simmons for what he can bring defensively. You know what I'm saying? It might be some challenges here on the roster, here and there, but that's what every just about every team. So you got to give it to them. You know what I'm saying? They still can get themselves a shot, especially with one of the best players in the league, with Kevin Durant. So it's unfortunate that my guy got to go down, you know what I'm saying, with an MCL sprain. But i rather, you know what I'm saying, I'd rather him. It's not me. I can't really speak for him. But I'd rather him go down for two weeks than to be out six weeks or, you know, for the rest, for the end of the season. So, the, uh, hey, just, we just got to take it. And that's basketball. That's sports. Everybody go through injuries. Some longer than others, but hey, two weeks it is for Kevin Durant. So y'all go ahead and let me know how y'all feeling about the news of Kevin Durant. Go ahead and drop it down in the comment box on your thoughts on how you feeling about Kevin Durant, MCL spring. And uh, let me know how, how will this affect the Brooklyn Nets moving forward, at least for two weeks. Because I don't, I think after the two weeks, they, they continue their grind back into playoff contention and, you know, being one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. So y'all go ahead and let me know how, your thoughts on all that. And, of course, if you want more from want more from uh, all the contributors to this channel, collectively hit us up on email at nbacentralshow at gmail.com. If you want more from me and the other uh, co-host, C-Dub, we are a Bulls podcast, so you can find us at Shy Bulls Podcast for all my Bulls fans out there. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to leave us a text message for any questions, comments, concerns, hit us up at 773-270-2799. This was a quick video just to get out the news to y'all. I'm going to definitely catch y'all on the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys.